All right, well, this wasn't the video I was planning on making today, but I came back from a weekend trip and one of my GIM gaming case fans uh, was making some noise. Upon further inspection, I saw that the fan had actually completely come apart from the housing and that's what was causing the problem. So I decided to jump on Amazon and I saw Vitru was actually making some case fans now, or maybe they have been making them for a while, I'm not sure. But I decided to pick some up since I'd already done a review of their V5 cooler as well as their 360 millimeter AIO. So I thought since I had to do all this anyway, I would go ahead and do an unboxing and review of these fans for you guys. So stick around, please. All right, so a bit of an unorthodox unboxing here. Uh, for the unboxing, here's the box they come in, and I'm not really a big fan because outside of the one sticker that we have on the box, you really wouldn't know what was in it. All right, inside of the box, you've got three of the ARGB fans that are here, and then you've also got a fan controller as along with the remote control. All right, inside of the fan hub controller box, you've got the remote control, which you can use if you do not have motherboard sync for either PWM fans or for uh, the ARGB. In addition, they do give you some double-sided padded foam stuff for, so that you can actually put this on the hub and stick it to your case. As for the hub itself, it is flat on the back. Uh, it does have a cool little design on the front, but obviously that's going to get in the way of trying to stick anything to it. Uh, you do have connections for four ARGB devices, uh, I would assume just their fans. And then you do have up to six fans that you can connect to this fan hub itself. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Uh, so you do have six connections to the fans themselves. Uh, you will require uh, SATA power for the hub, as well as you are gonna get a connection for the PWM and the ARGB cables. And inside the fan, you're gonna get some fan screws, uh, which is pretty standard. And then the fans themselves, they actually look like they spin very nicely. Uh, and also, uh, there's not a whole lot of wiggle in there. Uh, just a little bit, which you would expect with this type of fan, but nothing bad. Uh, they do have, once again, PWM connection, which you can put either into the hub or directly to your motherboard. And then they do have the ARGB connections, and they are daisy chain, so you can actually hook these into each other and have one single connection going to your motherboard. Or, once again, you can plug all of these into the fan hub that was provided directly. All right guys, so I've got the fans installed and I've went ahead and set up the fans onto the controller here and the ARGB on here and kind of cleaned up a little bit of uh, cable management, but pardon the mess there because it's not completely done. But essentially the only thing left now is just a couple of steps, but I wanted to show you guys. So basically this is the SATA power coming off the bottom of the fan hub. And so what you want to do is just connect that into SATA power for your motherboard here or for your power supply, I'm sorry, not your motherboard. Uh, so we're just going to make that connection. Boom, that's done. All right, and then the only thing else left is this connection right here, which is going to be for the PWM for the fan. So this is gonna go into a PWM fan header on your actual motherboard. And then this connection right here, which is going to go to the ARGB connection on your motherboard as well. And this way you're gonna have ARGB and fans. Everything is gonna be controlled as the same device because it's all coming from this hub but they'll all be synchronized and you'll be set and ready to go. Once again, you could skip this all together and just control it with your uh, remote control that comes with it, but I like doing the uh, controls through the motherboard. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished up and then I gotta make a couple of changes just to the pump. I've made some other arrangements in here with uh, different fans. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up, get everything uh, put back together and then we'll take a look, see how they look inside the case. 
All right guys, so I want to show you a bit of weirdness that I'm seeing with these fans. So I have everything connected into the provided uh, fan hub or ARGB hub here, uh, but it doesn't look like I'm getting any PWM control. So as you can see, I've got all these plugged into SysFan 6 uh, as shown right here. PWM control and I've tried doing fan curves and everything else, but really it's just showing up as the same thing. So no matter how high or how low I put this, they're all spinning at kind of the same way. And it's just kind of looking like a, or sounding like a wind tunnel inside of here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and unplug the fans from the fan hub. So I'm going to leave the ARGB side in there and I'm going to go ahead and take the fans out, plug them into a fan splitter and plug them directly into the board and see if I get any PWM control uh, that way. Because I can see on the fan hub that the connection that is showing is only a two wire connection which generally is not going to provide any voltage uh, regulation for PWM because that's the difference between a three pin and four pin fan. I thought maybe the wires with the fan hub and it would know what to do, but the motherboard right now just doesn't know how to send those signals down for it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that apart and then let's check it again and see what we get as far as connectivity and as far as, you know, being able to control these with a the custom fan curve using PWM. All right, guys, so as you can see, and probably here at this point, yeah, that was the issue. It was the two wires uh, from the fan hub itself that were causing the issue there. And so as you can see, I did plug into a fan splitter, and now we're running at about 800 RPMs, and these fans will run up to 1300 RPMs. But I was able to set my custom fan curve. We're actually getting the right readings now off the motherboard, so I think we are good to go. I'm going to do a little bit more testing, and we'll be able to wrap this up. All right, so now that we got all that sorted out, uh, it doesn't sound like a jet engine anymore. So I've got the fans installed there over here and uh, I can't really hear them going right now, which is good. Now these fans cost $35 normally. I actually had a $10 coupon, so it made them $25 for me. So they are a little bit on the pricier end of the budget range. However, you know, taking a look at Amazon, the price for up here fans and all the budget ones, they're actually creeping up to be about in that $30 range. So I don't think these are too expensive considering they're pretty sturdy. Now the ARGB on the fans is actually very bright and it was able to be controlled even through the fan hub itself uh, by Mystic Light and through Dragon Center. Now, speaking of the fan hub, I was very disappointed in the fact that the fans, you don't get any PWM uh, options through the fan hub itself and that I had to go to a splitter and actually directly connect it to the motherboard. Now, that being said, I had that same issue with the GIM gaming fans, but I feel if you're going to advertise that they're PWM fans and you give us a fan hub, that it should actually work through the fan hub itself. So do I recommend these fans? So I do with the caveat that you're either going to use a fan splitter or directly connect them to your motherboard for PWM control for the fans. If you're not going to do that, you might as well get a cheaper set that just plug into a remote control and use a remote control to control them. So I will leave a link to the product down in the description box below. While you're down there, see if you can find the like button and the subscribe button. I heard they were hidden and that they're not working. So if you would just click on both of those, make sure that they work. Uh, they should both illuminate, you know, say subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.